internet my name's white dragons and welcome back to automate uh automate is one of those mod packs that requires a little grinding but also you can just jump right into it depending on what you want to do uh, i have installed uh three mods that are not in part of the mod pack i have installed my fit fast craft and auto packer for um thermal expansion i believe those are the ones uh, but let's get started because I've, I've done this twice and I've not been able to get it underneath 30 minutes. So this is a natural spawning dungeon. It has been changed. I've changed a bunch of stuff. Uh, there are two dungeons in the area, so you will we'll actually explore one. But I needed this one so I can start uh, XP farming and um, gathering material. So uh, if you take a look here, see we've already got all these more things. I also have another iron pickaxe. I'll go into detail about that in a second. But as you see, we've been pretty, pretty busy. Look at all the booms. Pretty cool. Um, they also carry flint. Really weird. Zombies carry flint. So uh, basically what you can do here is you can sit here in AFK. Um, the way it's set up. Uh, my original design was that they would go up 24 blocks, come down on a wooden spike. And um, I have to give it to a... Uh, what is his name? What is his name? Oh no. I got his name. Hold on. I'll find it here in just a second. Um, uh, I, I give credit where credit is due. Um, uh, uh, hold on. It's coming. I'm, I promise you. I'm going to get it. I'm going to get it. I'm gonna get it. I'm gonna get it right now. Now, uh, Brandon Cyclone LP. Brandon Cyclone LP. Uh, that is his uh, YouTube name, and he came up with the idea of using a wooden spike, which reduces down the monster's XP to one. And uh, so you can sit here. I made a, I made the tables and the chairs. They're pretty simple to make. Um, and you sit here, and if you notice that you don't have any hunger. So that's how you avoid uh, dying of hunger, is you just make these. Please don't, mod, mod pack designer, please don't take this away, okay? We we need some favors here and there, because the quest log is ridiculous. I haven't even started on it yet, but I've seen some Let's Players, and they have ridiculous quests in here. So anyways, you can see here, it's a full glass blocks, and of course we're using the water elevator technique to uh, pull them up, and then they'll drop. Uh, that's probably good enough. They'll drop uh, through here, as you saw, just when it goes down. Uh, I was able to get an iron ingot, for, and that's why I was able to make these wonderful little blocks uh, from the uh, chisel mod, which is pretty cool. Uh, there's a spawner here, and there's a spawner in, over there for zombies. This is the spawner for skeletons, of course. And then, of course, this is the original spot I had them at. But they were too close to the spawner because the spawner, I believe, kind of like implements or like it goes out and it searches for entities. And I needed something that would constantly spawn, and this worked out perfect. I, I'm close to 24 blocks down from the actual spawner, and as you see, uh, we just fill it up and take a look. As you see, they have a half a heart left, so we can literally just pop them one at a time. Come on in my view there we go oh you're not dead yet no wonder uh and you can just kill them now you do have the special mobs that do appear but just like where we were standing i mean literally take a look we've got just oodles of just stuff coming out and xp which is pretty cool um i do have like extra glass upstairs uh to because i've broken the um the panel a little bit. The reason why I'm using a panel is because A, it has that extra. Oh, you're a brut brutish zombie. I'll go ahead and kill you off because you're kind of slowing me down. For some reason, I get kind of like locked in there where I keep hitting brutish ones, especially. Come on. Come on. Just die. There we go. So the brutes are the ones that drop the flint. That's really weird. I've never seen that before. Brutes are dropping flint. Eventually, I will have it where the back end of the um, of the area here will have obsidian, 
that way I can't actually break the block by accident. But I mean, just view. We got we got two levels. I think two levels of XP. We got all this stuff right here, which is pretty amazing. Desi, where are you going? That's the Chihuahua. Where are you going? I, I what are you doing? What are you doing? What are you doing? He has a tendency to lift his leg, so I have to be very careful. Anyways, we have all this wonderful stuff. We even got a carrot off of him, which is pretty sweet. And uh, yeah, that's gonna be that's the XP farm. Uh, this is a natural occurring dungeon through Thumbcraft, I think. Uh, so, again, let me know in the comments down below if you want me to break this down. I built this level by level, so it's kind of difficult to show you because I was encasing it as I went along. Um, all the way to the point where I actually had to go ahead and just drop all my stuff off and prepare to die. Because I knew eventually... That uh, I was going to see. There's an iron bean right there. I got from them. It's pretty sweet. Uh, this is stuff I just had to see my extra one stuff here. Um, but uh, yeah. So that if you're wondering where I'm getting a lot of this stuff, like the iron pickaxe here, and I've broken a couple of these already um, because I'm confused on how where I'm supposed to go from the point of boosting my my pickaxe here. It was uh, it's godlike now. Okay. I swapped out the head uh, when it was a flint head with a skeleton head and I got it up to copper but I couldn't get it past I couldn't get it past iron no matter what I did uh, and as you see like I said before it's godlike so it, it can't go any higher it can't be boosted any higher um, uh, I, I heard where I, I read some more about aluminum brass and aluminum brass um, Damn, I can't remember what it's called. Anyways, I don't know if aluminum is in this world or not. So I've been using, ever so often, I've been using an iron pickaxe. And um, just grabbing the ones I've got. I've got a bunch of other ones in the village across the way. But anyways, let's keep going. Uh, this is just to showcase you what I've been doing. So you know exactly what's been going on. Uh-oh, there we go. Uh, fast craft I'm experimenting with to see how that actually works out. There are monsters nearby. Ah, okay, there we go. Uh, I have not changed any of the map, the mini map. I, I like this. I like the journey map, so I'm going to stick with it. Um, why are you not burning? Okay, there we go. Uh, my fit I can't work with right now uh, because I can't get to redstone. Ow, you son of a bitch! You're burning. By the way, that from that point right there was how how high. Oh, was how high the um. The mob, ow, mob farmer was at one time. You bastard. He deserved to die. So it was that high and they would just fall, but that wasn't. It wasn't. It was too. F not far enough away from the mob. Um. Demo flashing from the mob spawner. <laughs> We're gonna go over here. Uh. I did. Uh. Increase the size of the village flooring. Um. What I mean by that is, is I just basically raised it up to meet the level and then put a wall around it. Wow. Why are they not burning? Is the chunks just not loading? It's got to be, do you have something on you? Are you even there? Do you need some help? Okay, now you're burning. Okay. Maybe he was stuck in the grass or something. I don't know. Uh, if you do hear the noise in the background, I'll try to get rid of that as much as possible. But that's the girlfriend watching Korean dramas. And they like to scream a lot for some reason. Anyways, I, as you see, the... Uh, the original farm or original village was right about there on that level and I've raised it up pretty high uh, the wall looks like crap right now but I'm working on it give me some time this is underneath this was the actual or, well this was half the original level of the village um, this is new the new mine I'm working on and hopefully I'll be able to get it down because I'm having problems finding tin right now so that's gonna be one of those things I redid the smeltery, so the re-smeltery is actually attached to a vanilla uh, building, which is pretty nice. I just cut off that little square piece that was right here. Uh, I built what's, what I consider a tier farm, and what the tier farm is is basically a 9x9 nine nine area where uh, if I, I think a sprinkler does a 9x9 nine nine area or a 5x5 five five area, I can't remember, but the harvester can be upgraded pretty far. Whoa, what the hell was that, was that about? But as you can see, we've got lots and lots of food. 
to uh, go around. I don't screw around when it comes down to survival, if you haven't noticed. Uh, I make sure I've got plenty of food to make sure I survive a really long time. Uh, Sugarcane Farm, I am probably going to have to extend it. Uh, melon Farm here, and then we have the Pumpkin Farm here. The villagers are actually stomping out the uh, stems here, so I had to fence it because these idiots, <coughs> excuse me, were um, were doing that. This was where the underground railroad shop was. Uh, I just took it all out, love, brought it up. <coughs> it's supposed to look like a mine cart, but I kind of went crazy with the the yellow and the black. It was the extra stuff I had left over, so I was like, eh, I'll use it, no big deal. And this kind of looks like a monkey face. I don't know. Or actually, you know what? It looks kind of looks like a certificate face. Hold on. I never noticed that. Excuse me. Can I see your face? Hey, it does. I'll be damned. Uh, this is going to be one of a few of these things I'm going to build. Uh, one of them will secretly house a village farm in it. Because villagers poop emeralds. That's right. They poop emeralds. So basically you're going to have, it's a two-sided door room to increase the door capacity. And I have it to where, the, where there's no stairs. So zombies will just be jumping. And just like us, see if we jump, we can't break anything. So that's how I've been zombie proofing my villagers. Now I have, oh see, they pooped one right here. See, he pooped one. That's so weird. And how the hell are you getting outside the fence? That's piss. That that's aggravating. Are you? How many more? I can't. Okay, you're fully helped. I have to go push them down. Pain in the ass. Uh, this is one of the original buildings that still that was in the village. If you go upstairs here, right here, is not only a piece of glowstone but a thalmanomicon. Now the good good Lord Dalmar doesn't want me using magic. But we'll see. I'm probably going to leave this here for now. But maybe tear it down later. A lot of the farms I got rid of. Just put them over there. Compact way. And uh, I've got the horse. And the diamond ar I got the diamond armor from the dungeon. That has the mob uh, farm in it. And I got the horse. And I I had to go use the, the, the uh, lead. Uh, from the fortress. Or from the kingdom over there. And I brought the horse over here. And I made some hay bales, and the only thing I don't have on them is a saddle. So once I get a saddle, he's actually rideable, which is pretty nifty. Storage facility so far for now. Um, I have been using a lot of the food was also part of the uh, the demoflachi over here, and I cre I killed some crimson colts, which was pretty cool. Got some armor off of them. Did some uh, questing. Potatoes don't dry, neither does apples, so don't even worry about trying to get apples. Um, build the house, looks pretty good. Alright, alright, alright. So cool. I love building stuff, especially for villagers. I like seeing them grow. All the animals are animals that are around the area. For some reason, though, like glitch. See, like that damn cow right there? I don't know how he got out. I don't know how you got out. But you will be going back in, son. You will be going back in. Chickens? Chickens seem to be okay. That's really weird. So, um, I probably won't be in this house for too long because I'm having a little di dilemma. The dilemma. Oh, yeah, I made a frying pan too. The dilemma is. The pig's. The pig is out too? Good God. What's going on around here? Anyways, the dilemma is whether I want to stay here or not. Is that the same cow or is that another cow? I think that's another cow. Okay. Thought I heard noises. Uh, I have the sound turned down because when I was in the mob farm, it kind of gets really loud. So you kind of don't want to, you know, be dealing with that noise all the time. And like I said, somehow, some way, oh, it's a baby Enderman. Fudge that! I need that. Come here, Enderman. Is he gone? I can't hear him. Uh, hostile monsters. And we'll put the blocks back. Okay. Uh, okay. Um, damn, I need that intermittent. Hey, look at me. 
can get this stupid pig back in. First, it's it, I don't know why, but in this area it seems like they glitch and like one of each gets out. That's why I was surprised that the sheep haven't gone out yet. Um, come on in, you pork belly. No, come on, come through the gate. This isn't difficult. This isn't rocket science. Damn. Um, I do need to. I I think I can go ahead and eat these guys. I'm not 100% sure. And then the chickens, of course. Our um, chickens, I'm kind of worried about. To be truthful with you, I'm not 100% sure if I can throw eggs and get chickens, but they're kind of glitching in the fence here again. I don't know why this hasn't been fixed. I don't know how to fix this except maybe put blocks up or something like that. I'm trying to avoid anything getting inside the cages. Um, is there anything else? I think I talked about it. I talked about this bad boy. I can't figure out how to get it past copper without uh, using the iron pickaxe. Craft an iron pickaxe or get an iron pickaxe drop and uh, digging up all the way to 10, which is currently what I'm doing right now. I'm trying to find 10 and then, um, yeah, go from there. Uh, just, just a quick update what I'm doing. I know the first episode, I had a lot of views on it. I really do appreciate it, guys. Uh, just so that you know, I am not quitting the mod pack. But this mod pack requires not a lot of work, but it does require like a lot of thought behind it. So, you know, I'm, I'm really thinking hard on what to do. And I'm not very talented when it comes down to, you know, different mod packs. I'm strictly vanilla. I, I would rather play with a few mods and then just play straight vanilla. I mean, you can see, for example, making the condominiums here, not condominiums, making the apartment complexes and changing the well design. You know, that's what I'm good at doing. I'm good at figuring out and building stuff versus the said, you know, I can, I know how to make build craft. I have to go study that stuff. So that's coming. Trust me. Uh, that's what I was doing. I was going over here to show you what I've done so far in the quest book. So you know, quest book, quest book. There's one quest book. Where's my other quest book? Mmm, that's not good. These copper berries. I got copper berries and I got something else. I need to figure out a way to farm them. I'm working on that. The ender plant seeds drop off of endermen. Um, these you already know about. Uh, they come from the. the Thumbcraft, so that's pretty cool. I got that from a bag, which was totally blows. Totally blows. Huh, I wonder where my thing magic is at. I'll find it. Anyways, to show you what I've done so far, because I, I'm really trying not to get ahead, my reputation rewards, I've gotten this one done, and uh, this one's done. I got the scooper, and then I have this one, which is uh, any butterfly species will work. For detection, just have 25 of them in your inventory, and then we'll get a gold block, a reward bag, and then we can get an enderman block, diamond block, emerald block, or a block of cobalt. It's really good. So I had to, I just had to have 25 of them in my inventory. The problem is, is I don't know how to catch them, so that's something that I'm going to have to go learn how to do. Oh, and this other one was a, uh, oops, not that one. This other one was uh, a copper. Um, the problem with this one is, uh, while Lord Dalmar loves his copper, the problem is is that poor man's copper ore only gives you nuggets. Gives you two freaking nuggets. So it literally takes two, four, six, eight, and a half. So it takes like uh, almost ten poor man iron or poor man copper ores in order to get one ingot which is ridiculous and I'm hoping something will happen that will help me out um, so as you see I've got the iron already and I've got the copper I'm still looking for tin uh, lead and gold so it's gonna be one of those things I have to look for on my own this hasn't unlocked yet so I don't know of course the sword 
and then the PDQ, which we already we already know all that about. So this one's this one's my hold up right now. Uh, Industrial warfare again. Uh, we're working. Whoa, wait a minute. Refreshes on intervals, thirty days and zero hours. Next reset, it's one day and eleven hours. So it's a repeatable. So we still have to kill seven hundred and fifty zombies in order to do anything. And then we'll get an adventure's bag, a trophy, and a rewards bag, which is pretty cool. Actually, I need to sleep because these idiots like sitting outside for some reason. You want to sleep on that? I want to sleep on the ground. There we go. Uh, I made a sleeping bag. It does not give you a spawn point, so you need to have, make a bed. So make sure you have that. See, these idiots, they love staying outside for some reason. I don't know why. And they go in there. I know they can go in there. So that's, that's pissing me off. Anyway, so we still have to kill 270. Or, no, we've killed 275. Which is really ridiculous. Spiders, we've only killed seven. Uh, skeletons, 275. Creepers, we've only killed six. Yeah. Tiny t TNT, I'm not really interested in. I am interested in Essence Berries Bush, to be honest with you. Uh, we can get more things out of that. So, uh, maybe I can get something done sooner or later. Uh, I do want to automate a... Well, see, here's the thing. Any automation I want to do has to be without redstone. And I need redstone to do a lot of the vanilla automations. So it's going to be kind of like, for the this this literally took, this is why I've not posted another video. is because it's taken this long to get all of this done. Cleaning up and getting everything done, else done. And doing the few quests I've done. Put this back just in case. Um, so yes, I, I've, yes, I haven't posted one. It was because I've been working really, really hard. Um... Lava, if you don't know, in a clay bucket breaks after you use it. So when you pour the lava, you lose the bucket. So I've been losing a lot of clay as well. So I could find some more clay somewhere. Anyways, I just wanted to give you an update video on what I've been doing. And all the cool things I've been doing as well. And uh, yeah, that's all I pretty much got. Guys, I, like I said before, I've done this twice. And I've had the videos reach 30 minutes to 40 minutes. And I really don't want that. So... I'm going to cut it off here. Thanks so much for watching, guys. Likes and comments greatly appreciated. As always, we do this for fun, not for profit. You're doing this lovely entertainment for free. And in the near future, maybe we can dabble in some magic that Lord Dalmar doesn't know about. Or maybe we just stay straight and narrow and Lord Dalmar doesn't screw us over. Who knows? Alright, thanks guys. Bye.